Anna, help me. I help you. Hey, Anna. I'm a tenant here, and I'm having a small problem with the toilet. Okay. What uh, unit are you in? Um, I don't know. Uh, it's like four, 40, uh, 43. Okay. Uh, I can look you up by your name without knowing what unit you're in. I don't know where to send maintenance. There's not a 40. Well, no, I don't necessarily need maintenance. I just, I run this YouTube channel called Will It Flush? And I've been flushing, you know, I flush like a different weird thing down the toilet every day. And today it's clogged up. And I'm not sure why. Okay. Because it's like a liquidy thing. It should just flush just fine. What was it? Uh, drywall mud. No, you cannot put that down your toilet. Well, no, I did. I flushed, like, I, I brought, like, uh, two five-gallon buckets of it. And I did one bucket. And then when I started on the second five-gallon bucket, that's when it it stopped, like, here when I flush it. Yeah, see, it keeps doing it. It keeps going all over the floor. Okay, well, stop flushing the toilet, and drywall mud will clog up the toilet, so I will have to charge you for maintenance to come over and unclog your toilet. Well, what is your name, or just, what unit are you in, so I just, can get him over it there? It should just go down, and I don't want to be charged. No, it and I was, shouldn't, because you shouldn't be putting drywall mud down your toilet. It's like a liquidy material, though. Like it, it's, you know, It will harden up. Drywall mud hardens up, and it will not go down a, t a drain. It'll get clogged in the drain. But I've been flushing for, like, you know, continuously, so, like, it, it keeps it wet, so it's not going to harden up. I understand that, but it will not go through the drain like it is supposed to. It's not meant to go down a toilet. Can okay. I get your name well, that, or your unit so I can get maintenance over there? That's, that's the point of the channel. It, it's like it's weird things to put down the, the drain. I understand that, that, but that is damaging the property every time you flush it if it's flowing back into your unit, so, or onto the floor. Yeah, it's still overflowing. I just flushed it and it's still overflowing. Well, quit flushing it. Well, I'm trying to make it go down, because I don't know why it won't go down. Like quit I've, flushing it. It's not going to go down. It needs to be augered. I've, what is your name? I've got the entire bowl. What is your name? It's Roy, but I've got the entire bowl filled up with drywall mud. So, like, when I flush it, it just it just kind of, like, the water all comes straight to the top. And it flows Roy over the, what? the sides. What, what unit are you in? Can you tell me anything other than your name is Roy? Yeah, I told you earlier, 43. There is no apartment 43 here. Was well, it 143? No. What are the unit's numbers like? If you don't know your address, I can't assist you. And what is what is your full name so I can look is you it, up in my system? Is it D43? I wouldn't be in the computer. Why wouldn't you be in the computer? Because I'm a roommate. Carol's my roommate. Carol? Yeah. Carol what? It would be a who. Okay, Carol who? Yeah, H-U. I don't have a Carol in my system either. Okay, well, I don't know. There's like four people here. I have three other roommates. I don't have any units that have four people living in them. Well, no, we're just not in the computer. Then that is a violation of the lease. Are you on the lease? No, I wouldn't be on the lease. I, I'm, I'm like, that's why I have roommates, because I, I just, you know, have roommates. I don't then get that's on... a violation of the lease. No, it's, n no, because I'm not even on the lease. Yeah, it's a violation of the lease to have other people live in the unit for more than seven days in a month, period. I actually flush... And I explain that to all of my tenants when they sign their lease. If, if you look on YouTube, under Will It Flush Lease, like, you'll see we flush the lease down the toilet. It was one of our videos. I'm going to hang up now. Why? Cactus, 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 cactus. Hello, everyone. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. This is episode 562. It's June 14th, 2019. And this show is brought to you by Cody No Name, Anagol 009, David J, Jesse Lobster, and Starkey. 
those are a few of the supporters of the show. Thanks, everyone, for supporting the show. And thanks to the new people who've signed up, like Zyklon B. I wonder if that's the old Zyklon from back in the good old days, or if that's just a new Zyklon, a new inferior Zyklon. Sorry, I don't mean that Zyklon B. Uh, also, Joe S. and Ernie M. Didn't I thank Ernie M. already? I think I did. Anyway, this is the show where I call up people on the telephone and present them with weird situations that they have to deal with and then provide them with instant relief when they realize it's just a prank. I was just joshing. It makes their entire days so much better once they figure out that the man on the phone wasn't real. It's like when you get those fake IRS calls and they're like, you're in a lot of trouble. You owe so many back taxes. You're about to go to jail. I'm going to send the police over to your house immediately unless you send the IRS $3,000 via Western Union. But then they get to Walmart and they try to do the $3,000 thing. And the clerk is like, you big dummy. The IRS doesn't do this. You're not going to get arrested and you don't owe $3,000. That's got to be the biggest relief ever for those people, right? That's just like this show. Wow, I think that's the worst analogy I've ever come up with. I need to stop trying. Max Power sent me a list of numbers here. He says, hi, Brad. I remember on a past episode, one of the listeners were interested in another Natalie show. So I dug up a list of various insurance agents named Natalie for you to put that song to great use. And he has a list of 25 Natalies here for me. The Natalie song is, of course, the song that goes kind of like this. Natalie, Natalie, I'd love to do you vaginally. I'll wait until we actually meet, and that is when you'll go down on me. It's a song by Hot Carl, sung to Natalie Portman. And so far, most Natalies I've talked to haven't been that receptive to the song. So let's give a few of these insurance people a call and see if they like having a song about them. Hi, this is Natalie with Farmers Insurance. Oh, hey, Natalie. Um, I was wondering how much renter's insurance is. Yeah, um, it kind of just depends. Uh, I could run a quick quote to let you know. It's usually about, it's usually around like $15 a month or so. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty cheap for what you get. Yeah. Um, hey, yeah, um, do you want me to are, are you, uh, you know exactly? Or? Are you single? Um, no, I'm not. Oh, darn, because I wrote this song for you. It's Here, here I'm going to play it. Natalie, Natalie, I'd love to do you vaginally. I'll wait until we actually meet, and that is when you'll go down on me. Do you like it? <laughs> she does not like it. Not one bit. The problem with this whole thing is that I just don't know how to tell them about the song, other than to just say, hey, look, I wrote a song for you. Basically, I would be terrible at writing songs for girls. Or at least presenting it to him. Hello. Hello, is Natalie around? Can I ask who's calling? It's Brad. Brad. Yeah. Look, don't act like her secretary. Just put her on the phone. Jeez. No, Brad, from where? From across the street. Brad, from across the street? Don't act like your secretary for you. Isn't he from the uh, what do you call it place? Hello. Holy cow! That isn't that's an overbearing coworker, isn't it? No, it's my dad. Oh man, what is wrong with what's his problem? <laughs> <laughs> he he was screening calls because it came across weird, so he thought it was one of those, don't hang up. Oh, no, no. It's, I'm a real person. I, I just moved. You know, I, I haven't lived here forever. I just kept my number when I moved over this way. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So you are literally across the road from our agency, is yeah. what you're saying? Yep, yep. That's okay. I'm over here. Yep. Hey, um, I wrote you a song because I always see you going in there. Oh, Okay. All right, so he here's, um, I'm going to play the second verse because that's my favorite. Natalie, Natalie, I heard 
Last year dating Jake Janelle and me But Moonlight Mile bombed tremendously And DMI paid me a shitload So Natalie, Natalie This is a song I wrote quickly But one day I'll hold you carefully And finger you under a blanket Do you like it? Ah, oh, that's very interesting. Thank you. Very flattering. Yeah, sure. So, so you like like when guys sing about fingering you under a blanket? No, not really. Well, you just said it was nice, and you said it was flattering. It was flattering, but it's not really something I'm interested in. <sighs> okay, no, no, I'm not interested in you. I'm married. I just wrote you a song. Um, okay, so here, okay. The, the last verse is the shortest one. Here, let me let me play this one for you. So Natalie, Natalie, we'll work together so tremendously, but until we actually meet, I'll settle for a hand job. I love you. That's my brother doing vocals hmm. in the background. Okay. He's the one that harmonized when I said hand job. Oh, okay. All right. What well, you, I am not interested, but... Well, neither am I. I'm married. Don't, don't look. Hey, I'm, I'm taken. Just, like, don't get the wrong idea. I just wrote you a song. Settle down. Okay, so what can I, what, how can I help you? Um, do you want a CD of it, or should I just uh, email you an MP3... No thanks. Or um, do you have do you have like a, do you listen to FM radio there in the office? I could beam it across nope. with my FM no transmitter. Thanks. Nope. Huh. I'm I'm gonna hang up now. Okay. Okay. Can I talk to your dad again? Nope. Okay. I need to improve that second verse. I, there's like way too much in there. I gotta shorten that up because I can barely understand what he's even talking about. Jake Gillenhoff or something. I don't know. I put these in my um, soundboard machine so I have easy access to them if I ever come across a Natalie in the future. And I put three different verses in, and right now I'm going to pause the show and modify the second verse. Okay, I am back. Through the magic of pre-recorded shows, I've spent the past 20 or 30 minutes modifying all the sound clips. We now have five verses, each of them like 10 to 12 seconds long. It's much better now. The verses are much more romantic, so I can hopefully score a chick named Natalie with these. It's getting late, though. I don't know if I'm going to get any of these to answer. A lot of these are on the eastern side of the country. Here's one that says she's available 24-7. Let's see how true that is. Good afternoon. Thank you for choosing Allstate. This is Natalie speaking. Oh, hey, Natalie. Uh, this is Brad. I just have some questions about insurance. Oh, sure, Brad. Are you a customer of ours? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, sure. I can help you out. And what questions do you have, Brad? Is it uh, auto or home? Or? Uh, home. I was wondering about that renter's insurance. Like, how much does that cover exactly? Because I'm hoping to make around 200 k if possible. Uh, do, to get, get a renter's insurance policy, is that what you're referring to? Yeah. Well, I just want to wanna make sure I get paid out quickly when it goes up in flames. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, I'm sorry. If it goes up in flames, wink, wink. You know. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, so, uh, if I understand you, <clears throat> we we do offer renters insurance for if you're renting, if you don't own the property and you're renting, mm -hmm. um, or if you are, if you do own, then obviously you're really concerned about it going up in flames. If if um, if you own the property, uh, so but you're you're renting. Am I understanding that correctly? Yeah, but you know, I own. <laughs> collections of, of uh, action figures and stuff. They, they're probably worth over 200k. Oh, okay. And like, so if I were to buy insurance, renter's insurance today, okay. and let's say that the, the, mm -hmm. the whole apartment complex burned down first thing tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. would that look suspicious? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it... it not necessarily. I mean, it would just depend on what what the issue. You know, why did it burn down? I guess is the big big question. I mean, if it's, you know, it just. Well, it's not it like I'm going to be here to do it. I've got it. an I've got an alibi. I'm going to be on camera. I'm in a bar that has cameras. While my friend. Uh -huh. Well, no, I don't want to get into it. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, we can offer you a quote for renters insurance. Uh, we have. Um, 
two hundred thousand mm. dollars. I, you know, I think if you've got little, you said figure what t- type of little uh, uh, Star Wars, Star got. Wars action figures. Oh, so, some of them from, yeah. from from like the original Star Wars back in um, oh wow, nineteen ninety nine. You know, uh-huh. episode okay. one. Yeah. Yep. Well, we would. Um, they would be include. I mean, they would be covered under your personal property. There's no Ooh. quote unquote limitation that I'm concern that I'm aware of. It, for example, if we're trying to insure uh, jewelry or furs or firearms, I mean, there's there's about a list of a dozen different things that we have limitations on what how much we'll insure. Do you insure but these sorts of things? That you, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm just wondering. Yeah, I was just going to say these types of things. I don't think there's any limitation. Cool. So if you got insurance that would cover two hundred thousand dollars of personal property, then um, they should be covered under that. Uh, there, should, there is no limitation. Are they going to know that but, it's actually the action figures? It seems like I could just put a bunch of plastic in there and well, say, "Oh, that was them." Yeah, like I, I, I think probably. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. I think it would probably be a good idea uh, to to have them. Do you have um, appraisals or mm-hmm. receipts or anything of that nature? Can I do those after the fire? Because I, I don't have money to get appraisals done right now. <laughs> no, you couldn't do it after the fire, no. Okay, and, sorry. you know, it doesn't sound like we would actually be... Um, I, I would go with, you know, I would check with State Farm, to oh. be honest with you, because they have uh, valuable articles insurance that you can get that is sort of a standalone policy. I don't have a lot of detail. I don't have a lot of information, but I know that um, they they do offer standalone mm-hmm. um, valuable articles, and I, I would go to them and check it out. The other thing I would do, maybe Google um, a carrier that might be Here, more hold, hold inclined on, to get my guitar. Um, one second, maybe, maybe this will change your mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna improv a song here for you. Here goes, one, two. Oh, you know what? I, I need to, I need to let you go. Natalie, Natalie, I'd love to do you vaginally. I wait until we actually meet, and that is when you'll go down on me. Oh, did the me get cut off? God damn it, I need to do these again. And she hung up. I love how she sent me to a competitor. That's awesome. She's like, yeah, State Farm will take sketchy people like you. Your call has been forwarded to an... I can't get the rest of these to answer. I've tried all of them, but it is late. They're all closed, pretty much. So I will have to come back to this list later. Maybe I can find some Natalie's on Craigslist, though. Here's a Natalie. I think she's a motivational speaker or something. Hello. Hello, Natalie. Yes. Hey, I I, I met you uh, a couple weeks ago at the thing, you know. What thing? It's Roy. Hey, I wrote you a song. Listen, here it goes. Natalie, Natalie, you're Jewish, and that is why naturally. We should phone, but actually, I'll take a hand job. You are Jewish, right? I, I'm just, I, I don't mean to make assumptions. Who is this? Uh, this is Roy. Okay, where did I meet Roy? What? Where did I meet Roy? Oh, don't don't talk to me in the third person. I'm right here. Jeez. Okay, where did I meet you? Um... Let me think about that as I sing this next verse to you. Okay, I really gotta go because I'm catering. Natalie, You're catering. This is a song I wrote. Qu- All right, I can't get anyone else to pick up on Craigslist, so let's just do something else. Here's an idea from someone. It's disguised as a prank submission. He put a fake phone number on it, so he tricked me. But he wants me to call up a pet co and tell him I was in the store earlier and I had them bag up a bunch of fish for me. But instead of paying for them. I took them to the bathroom and flushed them all down the toilet for YouTube. I'm going to do it completely different than what you're suggesting, though. Take that, anonymous submitter. Thank you for calling, Pekka. This is Chuck. How may I assist you? Oh, hey, Chuck. Is this the manager? I'm one of them, yes. Okay, great. I'm in your restroom right now. I'm the okay. one. I'm the one that um, I, I was over there in, but with the fish. I, I got them to bag up a bunch of fish for me. 
Okay. And I, I'm just I'm trying to flush them down the toilet to just to you know to set them free, and the toilet's clogging up. Like here, when I when I flush, let me try. Yeah, it's it's, it's going to go onto the floor again. Like it's clogged up. It keeps running all over the floor. So. Uh, you're definitely not in our bathroom. No, I'm in the women's bathroom. Stay out. No, you didn't know we got caller ID, right? Well, yeah, I'm calling for my own number. So I was uh, just yeah, wondering. Nobody in the way. Get There's out of the, in the women's bathroom. Get out of the women's bathroom, you perv. Uh, yeah. Have a good day. You agree that you're a perv? Well, that didn't go well. Maybe I should do your idea. But they're not going to care if I'm flushing things on my own bathroom toilet. I'm going to do it in their toilet. Thank you for calling Petco. How can I help you? Hello, is this the manager? Uh, no, the manager is busy right now, but can I help you with anything? Uh, well, I'm in the bathroom right now. I'm flushing some of the fish down the toilet. I, I had someone oh my God. bag them up for me, and the toilet's overflowing. See, like, when I when I try to flush... Yep, there it goes. Okay, it's, I'll get a manager coming. there right away. Oh, no, I don't need anyone in here. I just, like... Oh, okay. Um, I don't know, like, I don't know why it's overflowing like this. Have you had toilet problems? Uh, probably here. Um, I'll get you on the line for a manager. You're what? You're you're handing the phone to a manager? Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Here, um, I'll let her know as soon as I she finishes her work. Oh, can I talk um, to her? Yeah, here. Um, as soon as she's done with her thing, that I will just just get it right hand to it to her. Just just be rude. Absolutely. Just just hand it <laughs> for just sure. Give it. <laughs> Hand it over. For sure. Just hold it in her face till she takes it. <laughs> yeah. She's in the back of the store. I'll get ah, her. Ah, shoot. Okay. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right. Darn it. I thought there was a manager there. Co, how can we help you? Hey, uh, this is Brad. I'm in your bathroom right now. All right. And I'm the one that got those fish. I've been trying to flush them down the toilet, but the toilet keeps overflowing. What? Like, I, I'm trying to free the fish, basically, but I probably should have taken them out of the bags, like, when I, when I flush. So you're in our bathroom flushing down fish that you just purchased? Well, I didn't buy them yet. I just kind of went straight to the bathroom with them. But here, like, when I flush them, it's, so um, I, so it, I, I, oh, it's overflowing. It's overflowing. Why are it's you going, in the bath? Why are you trying to flush fish down the toilet? It's going, it's going all over the floor, ma'am. Is a mess in here. So, oh, why'd she hang up? At least somebody's annoyed with me for flushing fish down the toilet, though, in the bathroom. Thanks for calling, Petco. This is Ben. How can I help you? Hey, Ben. Uh, I'm in your bathroom right now. Yeah. And, and uh, I, I'm the one that got those fish. I had an employee bag up the fish, and I'm trying to flush them down the toilet, but it the toilet keeps overflowing all over the floor. You're trying to flush the fish down the toilet? Yeah, in your bathroom. Like here, I'm going to try right now. One second. Yeah, yeah, it keeps going up. Like it's, it's getting ready to go out on the floor again. And some of the fish are on the floor now too. I'm trying to flush them down. Do you, like, are you having plumbing problems today? Hello? Sir? 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 Why are you not talking to me? No. Sir? Right now. Can you not hear me? I can hear you, but uh, right now the person that's in the restroom is not you. No, I'm in the women's restroom. Don't assume things. So I'm just trying to find out, are you having plumbing problems today? Hello? So no, no one's in the women's restroom. Okay, I have called at least a dozen of these Petco's, and I'm going to go insane if I have to listen to their hold music anymore. And none of them are believing me. They're just walking over to the restroom and opening the doors every single time. This one girl, and I was going to cut this out, but now I'm just going to play it for you. Listen to this. Do you mind flushing so, the toilet again? Why? I just... 
asking. Okay, hold on. It's gonna it's gonna go on the floor again though. Mm-hmm. Sure you're in our bathroom? Yeah, I'm positive. Really? Because I'm standing by the bathroom. I'm in the stall, so you wouldn't hear the toilet. Yeah, we don't have stalls. Sir, if you want to prank call someone, please prank call somebody else. Thank you. Why not you? She told me a thing or two. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe this would work better at convenience stores. Quick trip, this Jenny can help you. Hey there, uh, th I'm in your bathroom right now. Okay. And I've been flushing um, chips down the toilet, like potato chips that I got from the shelf. And it's overflowing. It's going onto the floor. Like, I can't get the toilet to flush anymore. Okay. So, like, like when I flush it, see, watch, it's going to... It starts to flush fine at first, but the, now, now the water's coming up. It's getting ready to come over the edge, and it's going all over the floor. Like, every time, it keeps going on the floor. Well, what would possess you to do that to start with? Uh, I'm filming it. It's for a YouTube channel. Okay. So, are you having plumbing problems today? Uh, no. Well, I don't think the chips could clog up the toilet. Hey. Should I? Should I? Yeah, I think they're just going to go in the restroom and check, too. I need people that are more restricted to their position behind a counter or something. I feel like Subway would be a perfect place to do this at, but probably not right now. More like around lunchtime. Or I guess I could just call them over in Hawaii or something. That's close to lunch. Wait, can I help you? Hey there, uh, I'm in your bathroom right now. Uh huh. And I'm I'm trying to flush a bunch of toilet paper and paper towels down the toilet, and it's overflowing. Okay. Like when when I put the paper towels in, especially, I've been wadding them up and and putting those down the toilet, and then I try to Why? do. Why? Why are you doing that? Uh, I'm I'm I don't I'm just you know just I, I'm filming it for YouTube. But the toilet, I don't want it to overflow, but it keeps overflowing. Like here, when I flush it. Yeah, the. Yeah, but you shouldn't do starts, that. You know it's going to overflow and get clogged. I know. It keeps, I'll call the maintenance right now. No, okay? it's, it's okay. I just like, have you been having plumbing problems? Oh, there it goes on the floor. There it goes. I'm going to flush more paper towels to try and push it down. Hold on, hold on, okay? Why? Where are you going? All right. I'm going to call someone to go, go get it fixed. You shouldn't be doing that kind of stuff. Oh, no, I'm, I'm going to keep doing it. Why does everyone just keep hanging up on me? Thank you for calling Subway. This is Christopher. Hey, Christopher. I'm in your restroom right now. Okay. And um, I've been flushing paper towels down the toilet, and now the toilet's overflowing. Okay. Like, I, I keep flushing more and more paper towels. Like, I'm going to try right now, and it, it's probably going to overflow again. Like here, let me flush. Why would you flush paper towel down? Yep, yep, the, the water's coming up. It's going to go all over the floor again. Are you having pl plumbing issues? Hello? 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 Hey, uh, wh wh what happened? You stopped talking to me. Yeah, just one second. Why? What are you doing? And he hangs up on me. I heard a door opening in the background. I think they were going to check the restroom. Thank you for calling. You're Shada Walmart. How can I assist you? Hey, is this the service desk? No, this is the fitting room. Oh, the fitting room. Okay, great. Hey, uh, I'm in the bathroom right now, up front. Mm-hmm. And I brought a bunch of marbles from the toy aisle, and I've been flushing them down the toilet. And now the toilet's clogged up. It keeps overflowing. Like here, when I when I flush it, watch, it's going to... It starts to go down like normal, but now it's coming back up. And it's going to go on the floor. It keeps making a huge mess. So we need maintenance up in the bathroom. I don't know. I guess not. I mean, I... I and and, I, and then we need, need to quit flushing marbles down the toilet? Oh, no. I'm, I'm filming it for YouTube. But I, I've got a bunch of marbles in here. I've got, like, like just a couple bucketfuls of them in here. And I'm flushing them down the other toilet now. And that one was already overflowing when I started. But I, I think it might uh, have something okay. to do... I, I, what? what? 
Okay. Thank you. I probably need to get somebody up there to take care of the no, floor. No, don't, no, me? don't have anyone come in right now because I'm in the middle of filming for my YouTube channel. I, I, I've got a YouTube channel called Will It Flush, and I just flush random weird things down the toilet. Okay, I think I need to get back to work. Why? <laughs> because I have work to do. Well, I thought you were going to give me advice on this toilet thing. Thank you for calling me. Arrowhead will hit some more time. I don't you call. Hey there. Uh, I'm in the restroom right now up front in the store. Uh-huh. And I've been flushing a bunch of motor oil down the toilet in here that I got from the automotive department. Hello? Yes, you've been flushing automotive? You've been flushing... Motor oil, uh, 10W30. Okay. okay, where uh, are you at? I'm, Back I'm at, man's restroom? Yeah, I'm, I'm in the restroom. I, I was just trying to see which one uh, is lighter than water because that's the one I want to buy. But I ended up flushing like a bunch of it down the toilet. But now the toilet's overflowing. See, like, watch when I when I flush okay. it. When I flush it. Okay, it, it, let me get somebody back there. Oh no, I don't need any help. I'm just I'm trying to find out. Do you know which is lighter? Is it 10W30 or 10W40? Oh, there it goes on the floor. I honestly floor. don't know. Go talk to Automotive. Oh, there's nobody That's over there. That's what I would do. There's, I'm just gonna, I will page. I'll I, page somebody there. I'm going to keep flushing. I should be doing this show live. You guys could recommend places for me to call and things to flush from each place. That'd be fun. Maybe I can do that this weekend. Thank you for calling Barnes & Noble. This is Maddie. How may we assist you? Hey, Maddie. I'm in your restroom right now. Oh. Okay. Uh, and um, I've, been tr I've been flushing books down the toilet, um, but it's, it's like clogged up now. Like I'm trying to flush, like here, like when I flush. You're trying it, to flush books down our toilet? Yeah. Well, just I'm, I'm ripping them up and I'm just putting parts of books. Why? Well, like, mainly I'm doing Mark Twain right now because there's a racist word in it. Oh, there it goes. It's all over the floor. Okay, you it, need to come out of my restroom, and I'm going to be... You're going to Come out of my restroom now. Uh, no, no, I've got to fin... I'm filming. I'm doing this for YouTube. Okay, I don't care. Well, I do. Please I get, exit our restroom. Well, no. I'm I, asking you to leave just, my store. What? No, I'm, I'm going to... I'll pay for it. I'll pay for the book. Does... No. I, I saved the barcode. No. What? What do you support racism? There's a there's a racist word. No, in this. I do not support racism. You need to go. But there's a racist word in this book. I don't even want to say it. There we go. Bookstores. That's the place to call. Except it'd be kind of hard to flush books down the toilet. So I don't know about that one. Hi, this is Evelyn at Barnes and Noble. How may I help you? Hey, uh, I'm in your restroom right now, and you know those bags of uh, coffee beans that you sell. Uh, no, I didn't know we sold those, but oh yeah, what about them? Well, I've been <laughs> I've been flushing them down the toilet, and the first few went down fine, but I've got all these others, and they're not going down. Like the toilet just kind of backs up, and the water keeps going on the floor. What? What? <laughs> you know, like are you? I know it's weird. I'm I'm filming it for YouTube. I've got a YouTube channel called Will It Flush. I just flush weird things down the toilet. Are you? So you're I, not. What? what? <laughs> um. I, I. This is. I. Ma'am. <laughs> What? what? I don't understand. I, I can I put you on hold? Well, hold on. Like, does this sound like uh, okay? I'm gonna flush right now. Like, I've got a bunch of of the beans in the toilet. Like it I'm, when I flush it. Yeah, see the water comes back up. Is there a way to get I don't it? it? Now the water's going on the floor. Can what, I put you on hold? What? Why? <laughs> what? Are, what are you doing? Oh, she put me on hold. I think I've never heard anyone as flustered as she just got. And they have a Starbucks in this one. Like, don't they sell coffee beans? 
Thank you for holding. This is Dennis. How can I help you? Hey, Dennis. I'm in the restroom right now. Mm-hmm. And I, I was just flushing. The restroom? Yeah, I was flushing the coffee beans down the toilet, and the toilet's overflowing now. Um. Did she touch? Flushing the coffee You know the coffee beans that you sell? No, we don't sell coffee beans. Oh, no, you do. The Starbucks thing does. They, they had oh, like. We don't have a Starbucks. You don't? This is this is the store. Oh, the okay. I'm at the other one. Yeah, I'm I'm in their oh. restroom flushing coffee beans down the toilet. Which I, I'm curious as to why, but uh huh. Oh yeah, I'm, it's just uh, I'm filming for a YouTube channel. Um, oh. You know, I, I have a YouTube channel called Will It Flush, and I just flush different things down the toilet. In public toilets. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to pay for a bunch of coffee beans. Is the yeah. Main. It seems a little bit disrespectful, but which Barnes Noble are you at? Uh, I don't want to say because I'm trying to finish what I'm doing. But do you know, like, like when I flush it, like here when I f- I'm gonna flush, yeah, it, like the the water keeps backing up and it goes all over the floor. Is there any way to make it not do that? Yeah, no, there is no way. You shouldn't generally flush coffee grounds down the toilet. Huh. If it if it is damaged, then well, I don't think the, it's damaged. I just need a plunger. Why you wouldn't want to do that at home means that you shouldn't do that in a public space either. Well, uh, but the public toilets they're more powerful than my my toilet at home. Huh. Hmm. Anyway, can you put that girl back on the phone? No. Me and her were in the Absolutely middle of a not. conversation. Why not? What would she say? Nothing. She just has no idea what you're talking about, and I need her to help other customers. Um. Okay. Well, you know, she just uh, she we, she was. I was trying to explain something to her, and she put you on, and you're you're just being yeah, kind of yeah, a, yeah. You're, she, you're being kind of a dick about it. Well, as a representative of the company, in which you are damaging our property, I feel like my response is warranted. Well, I'm not damaging the property. I think it just. I just need a plunger, and there's no plunger in here. Correct, because that means that we have to go get maintenance to do that. Generally speaking, in most stores, we would then have to contact the maintenance company in order to do that, and that's an incurred cost to our store. Well, so, no, if you just well, that's stupid. Why don't you just have a plunger in here, and then you won't have to call maintenance? That's a waste of money. No wonder your books are so expensive, and your coffee beans. So yeah, was there anything else you needed? Uh, no, no. I'm gonna try the the manager of the store here. I guess I thought I had the Good right idea. number. Nah, that's why I was asking what store you were at, so that I could make sure I got you the right number. Oh no, it's okay. I'm, I'm gonna call him myself. Uh-huh. I'll I'll figure it out. Anything else I can do for you? So you don't know how to reverse the flush thing? Like, should I pour more beans down the toilet and that would push them down? No. That's generally not how physics works, actually. Well, no. If it's heavier, then it's gonna push them down. Mmm, but it's a particulate matter, so it doesn't function like a solid. Okay, Mr. Science Person. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Was there anything else I could do for you? Uh, well, you didn't really do anything in the first place. Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah, and it's red. Have a great day. All Good right. luck getting a hold of that manager, by the way. Yep, thank you. I'll do my You're best. Welcome. Bye. Love yeah. you. You too, thanks. That was very sweet. Bye. Oh, I turned his whole attitude around. Me and him are friends now. Me and Mr. Science Person. He thinks he's so smart because he works in a bookstore. Talk about this, Terry. Hey, Terry. Um, I'm in the Terry restroom right Ra. now. What? Hello? Terry Ra. Oh, yeah, whatever. Um, I'm in the restroom. Okay. At your place right now. I'm, I, I brought a bunch of those hot sauce packets in here, and I've been flushing those down the toilet. Why? Um, well, I'm filming. It's for a YouTube channel. But, like, I'm trying to flush as many as I can down the toilet, and now the toilet, it won't... Like, the water keeps coming up instead of going down. Dude, if you're prank but, calling me, quit quit doing that. No, I'm not prank calling. I'm, I'm trying to flush the toilet. See, like, when I, when I flush, where the water starts coming up. Yeah, it's going on the floor. 
Ma'am? 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 Are you there? Oh, she's knocking. And she hung up. McDonald's Hotel, how can I help you? Hey, uh, I'm a customer. I'm, I'm in your restroom right now. Uh-huh. And, um, like, I, I brought in a bunch of lids, you know, like soda cup lids in here, and I've been flushing them down the toilet. Why? Uh, just, I'm, I'm filming a video for YouTube. It's called Will It Flush? And I've been flushing just tons of lids and straws and napkins. You had better not be doing that in my bathroom. No, it's like I, I'm calling. This is a prank call. I have your number. No, I'm I'm not pranking you, ma'am. I'm I'm trying to ask a question. What? Um. Why so, Why would you even do that in somebody's bathroom? Why don't you go home and do it in your own toilet? Well, because I don't have a bunch of drink cup lids here, and I know you wouldn't want me. To so you're wasting my product. Flushing it but, down the toilet, stopping up my toilet. Yeah, it's stopped up. Like when I flush it, it goes, it overflows. Like, look, when I, I'm gonna flush it. And it, oh, there she goes. I think somebody told her that nobody was in the bathroom. I heard someone talking in the background. Master Starbucks, how can I help you? Oh, hi. I'm I'm in the, I'm a customer. I'm in your bathroom right now. Okay. And uh, I brought a bunch of the, like, the little coffee stirrer things. I brought a bunch of those here, in here. I've been flushing them. Okay. And, like, now the toilet's, it's, like, backing up. Like, the water keeps going on the floor when I flush it. Okay. So, uh, I'll find a plunger. Why were you flushing those in there? Uh, I'm filming for a YouTube video. So, I, I took a, stuff, a bunch of stuff off of the counter, like, little drink stirrer things and... You know, the little packets of, of stuff, like mm. sugars and, like, here, like, mm, when, I when, when I flush, let me try it again. Oh, no, it's going the wrong way. It's doing it again. It just goes on the floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean. On the floor. That's rough. I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Well, no, I don't need you to come in. I'm in the middle of filming. I was just wondering if you knew of a way to make it, like, should I just put more stuff in? No, I'm going to come in there with a plunger, and we'll figure it out then. Will, will you be on... Can I have your permission to film you for my video? Yeah. Okay. Can... Well, that was nice of him. He's going to be on my video and everything. I'm about to give up on this whole thing, though. Like, for every call that you guys are hearing, I'm probably making about, like, 30 of them that don't work. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating, but, you know, a lot of them that don't work. Hello, thank you for calling Debbie's on. This is Josh. How am I serve you? Hey, Josh. Um, I'm in your bathroom right now. Uh-huh. And um, you know all the crayons you have up there? Uh-huh. I, I brought a bunch of them into the bathroom. And I've been flushing them, okay. down, I've been flushing them down the toilet. Uh-huh. And the toilet's backing up now. Oh, all right. I'll be right there. Okay. Well, no, I don't need you to come in here. Yeah, yeah, but I'm going to come in there. Well, no, I don't want you. I'm filming for a YouTube video. It's it's a Will It Flush oh, video. Oh, well, I'm still going to be in there. Well, no. Have a nice day. Can you wait a minute? <laughs> Guy's going to ruin my video. Hello? Hi, what can I help you with? Oh, did, I'm sorry. I thought I reached Office Depot. This is Office Depot. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Like, you didn't say anything when you picked up. You just stood there. Well, I I think our phones are mm -hmm. wigging out because I know I had to answer the call oh. like I usually would for it. Anyway, I'm in your bathroom right now here at the Office Depot. Mm-hmm. And I brought a bunch of staples and push pins in here, and I've been flushing them down the toilet. It's for a YouTube video, and um, the toilet's backing up. Like, it won't flush anymore. The water just goes on the floor. Ma'am? 
ma'am. Is this like a joke or something? No, I wouldn't kid about this. It's for a video. I do a, a YouTube series called Will It Flush? And I'm flushing paper clips and push pins. And it was working fine at first, but now it's just like here when I flush the toilet. Yeah, see, it's going the wrong way. It's coming up. Here it comes, and it, yep, it's going on the floor. Like the water's on the floor. So do you know how to make okay. it not do that? No, I do not. I know if you get out of the bathroom, find a person that's in a red shirt, they might be able to help you. Oh, I was hoping I could just call, because I'm in the middle of filming right now. Yeah, yeah I we wouldn't know. Okay, should I just keep flushing? Do you think eventually it'll just kind of work, it way, work its way down? And Because, I mean, a lot of water No, because that's going to cause a water leak in our building, and we're going to end up having to shut our building down. No, you're overreacting. You're not going to have to shut the building down. Come on. Hey, Jeff, you want to go to the men's restroom no, and see no, if there's don't, a gentleman no. in there flushing paper clips and push pins down our toilet? No, no, t don't. Jeff cannot come in here. I'm filming. I'm in the middle of a video. Ma'am? Well, if you're causing a hazard for our building and we're going to end up having to shut it down because of sewage, it's not you're going to end up getting removed. There's no, Sorry. There's no sewage. It's just water and paper clips. Man, talk about overreacting. Holy shit. Customer service, hello, how may I direct a call? Hi, I'm a customer. I'm in your restroom right now. Okay. And I've been, um, I'm, I'm filming a video right now for YouTube. I'm, I've been flushing uh, wood glue down the toilet. I got like the big uh, five-gallon bucket of wood glue. What? It's for a YouTube, I know it sounds weird. It's for a YouTube video. I'm flushing wood glue down the toilet, like a big bucket of wood glue. But the toilet's backing up now, like it's overflowing. Do you know how to make it not do that? Like, there's no plunger in here. Should I just keep flushing? No, you don't dump wood glue down the toilet. I, no, I'm, it's for a video. It's it's like it's called Will It Flush. It's a series I do on YouTube. But like here, like when I flush, here I'm gonna flush. Yeah, it's it's, it's not going down. It's just the water comes up and it goes over the edge. And you're currently in our restroom here in the store. Yeah, yeah, I've got a, I got some wood, wood glue off of the shelf, and I'm flushing it down, down the toilet. But I only did half of the the five gallons so far. I want to do the rest for the video. Yeah, no, you are not going to flush wood glue down the toilet. No. Well, no, I have to. I, I'm, I'm, I'm. No, you don't have to. No, it's for a video, and but like whenever I. I don't care. You're not going to flush wood glue down our toilet. It's fun. Like I'm, I'm just trying to find out if you know of a way. Since you work in a hardware store. Like, if you would know a way to, to make it go down, like, do I keep flushing or do I need to... No, do, you leave it alone and I get a manager and you get thrown out of the store. No, no, you can't throw me out of the store. I'm a customer. I, I come here all the time to shop. Okay, so you come here to shop, but that doesn't mean you can flush wood glue down our toilet. Why is there not a plunger in here? Because it seems like if there's a plunger, I could put the stick in, in there and, like, stir it up a little bit to get it going down. No, no, we don't. St we don't supply plungers for our toilets, so people can unstuck the toilet because they're flushing wood glue down the toilet. All right, but that's not a thing. Okay, I'm gonna flush again. I'm gonna see if it'll go down. Oh. She doesn't want to hear me flush again. I haven't had one person tell me to stop flushing the toilet. You know, like the landlords do. They're always just like, "Sir, stop flushing the toilet. Don't flush it again." Thank you for calling out the zebra. This is AJ. I'm gonna help you. Hi, AJ. Uh, I'm a customer. I'm in your bathroom right now. Mm -hmm. And I, I brought in, I got a bunch of uh, paper clips and push pins and staples off of the shelf, and I'm flushing them down the toilet. And, uh, okay. And the, the toilet's backed up now. Like, I'm, I'm trying to get them all to go down, but, like, the toilet, the water, the water just kind of comes up. Like, well, out. you're flushing the product down the toilet yeah yeah mostly like a bunch of uh paper clips i'm mostly doing paper clips because you get a lot of paper clips on the shelf so i'm trying to yeah. get 
like do you know like do you know why that would stop going down it seems like they're small enough that they would just go go down the toilet like here i'm gonna flush um yeah see that it's not even going down it's the, the water's coming up and it's gonna go over the edge again there's water all over the floor um yep here it's all, oh man uh wait wh- why are you doing this oh, it's why, for- why not just throw it in the trash oh no it's for a youtube video it's called will it flush what? It, it's like and it, it's not flushing. Yeah, so like the answer on this one is no. But I, I really, I really want it to to finish going down. There's not even a plunger in here. Like I can't get in there and like stir it up. Uh, you got, um, do you sell plungers? We we do not, but uh, we do have a. We live, we're next to Home Depot, so I mean we have plungers there. But um, yeah, I just need a stick or something like to get in there and like stir it up and like. Get them, get them moving so they'll go down. Because like every time I flush, flush. Oh, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's it's going. You, you, you can let us take care of it. I mean, well, yeah, you don't have to keep flushing it. Oh no, I want to. I'm, I'm, it's for my YouTube video. I'm trying to to make it go down. Oh, uh, sir, I, I don't think you're allowed to do that. Oh here. no, it's cool. I've got over a hundred thousand subscribers. I'm just. I'm just uh it, I, it's I don't think office people would be happy with that. Yeah, but by the time they get in here I'll be long gone. But you uh, know, like um, when when I flush <laughs> here I'm gonna flush. Oh, yeah. oh sir, could you Yeah, it's going on the floor. <laughs> so, I mean I can have a look if it just seems like oh oh man, it's everywhere. It seems I mean uh it seems if like if you could say if I flush enough, could you to, uh, what? Flush? Could you not fl- uh, flush anymore? Flush? Em- I mean, uh, flush more? No, no, no! Uh, don't flush anymore, please. Oh, it's still not. You think eventually it would go down? I I don't think anything's gonna happen. I I think it's gonna keep flooding. Well, no. Every time I flush, the paper clips kind of whoosh up into the water. But but you you think that would? I think if I keep doing that, like if I flush repeatedly, won't they whoosh up and they'll just keep, they'll they'll eventually just get mixed up and fall in. No, I don't. I don't think paper clips are supposed to go down the toilet. But you're not a plumber, right? I am not a plumber. All right, let me try. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> you're actually right. Oh man. Fuck. Uh, did, did you need help? No, I don't want anyone to come in because I'm filming. I've got a tripod set up. I was just hoping you might you have... You have a tripod set up in the bathroom. Yeah, to film. It's for my YouTube video. Out of all the bathrooms, why? Why Office Depot? Well, because um, I've done like everything else. I've I've done Wendy's. I've done Taco Bell. I've done, I've done um, Lowe's. You know, I, I, it's, it's to add variety to my channel. I have to do a different thing on every video. Like, I've done gumballs. I used to do it in my own apartment, but they uh, evicted me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, God. It's getting deep in here. Like, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna have to step in the bathroom. Uh, oh no, I'm busy. I'm, gonna have to I'm busy. Save, like, save stop. Why is there not even a drain in the floor? It seems like there'd be like usually when I do this in public places, there's a drain in the floor. Wait. You do have a drain on the floor. Do you? I don't see it. Oh, my tripod's covering it. I'm... Wait. You're not here. Yeah, it's just a prank call. Oh I'm, I'm actually with 98.3 and... Butt slam. <laughs> hey, Lamo, you just got full-on butt slammed by the Skippy and Dippy Morning Show. It was a joke. Oh, gosh. Aren't you happy? I my job over here, yes. You, you don't have to clean up the bathroom I'm, now. I... I know they would make me clean it up. I was a guy. Were you getting stressed out? 
about, I was. About I, I didn't know. I didn't want to like just come in. I mean, I heard you have the setup, but I was like, if you're flooding up this bathroom, yeah, you go. yeah. I gave you the gift. <laughs> I gave you the gift of not having to clean up a huge mess in the bathroom. <laughs> you're welcome. I appreciate that. Uh, can I come? Thank you so much. Can I come clean with you though? Yeah, sure. Come on down. And I'm actually. Come help me out. No, no, I'm. No, 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 no. I'm. I'm saying I, I need to be honest with you. Um. I actually am here. I'm in the women's restroom. I identify as a woman. Oh. <laughs> you, but don't come in I'm here, not, though. I'm okay? not going to touch that. I'm <laughs> don't come in here. I, I don't have pants I, I on. Won't, I, I will not come in there. All right, thank you. i got to finish filming. <laughs> okay. I'm going to flush some Whoa. more. <laughs> what was the radio show? Uh, it's the Gerbil in the Butt show. Gerbil in the Butt in the mornings. <laughs> on on 104.6. Right. 104.6. All right. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, I hope you have a nice day. <laughs> bye. All right. Bye. Bye, AJ. What a good sport. I loved how he kept getting stressed out every time I hit the flush button. You could just hear it in his voice. I should have told him the paper clips were going down the floor drain, and it was clogged up, too. Next time, I'll do that. I'm going to do just a few more of these, and then I think it's going to be time to end the show. Let's go back to the original idea that Mr. Anonymous sent to me, though. Let's call Petco. Thank you for calling Petco. This is Priscilla speaking. How can I help you? Hey, Priscilla. I'm in your bathroom right now. I'm flushing. I brought a bag of dog food in here. I've been flushing it down the toilet. It's for a YouTube video that I do called Will okay. Flush, and the toilet's backing up now. Okay. I'll be right there. Well, no, I don't want you to come in. I'm filming. But, like, I was just wondering... Okay, I actually uh, can't allow you to film in my building. That ha We have to have permission for that before. No, it's it's just in the bathroom, so it's fine. Uh, it's, no, it's, I understand, but it, I can't allow any filming in my store. Okay, but no, the reason I'm calling, I, I want to find out, is there a way to make it make the toilet flush? Because it, it's filled with dog food. And, like, when I flush yeah, it... Yeah, I can't. I can't. I'm flushing right now. Sam? And it's going on the floor. Yeah, it's all over the floor, ma'am. Ma'am? Okay, I'm walking over to my bathrooms, and you're not in my bathroom. No, I'm in the women's bathroom. Are you sure you're calling the right store? Yeah, I'm, I'm positive on <laughs> drive. What store? Yeah, you're not in my bathroom, so you're calling the wrong store. No, I'm in the women's bathroom. We have unisex bathrooms. Oh, that's gross. Who wants to have unisex in a bathroom? Ew. Ugh. Yeah, I forgot what a bad idea Petco is because the restrooms are always right there at the front by the registers where they're probably answering the phones. Petco's just not going to work out. What was I thinking? Hi, thank you for calling Petco. This is Jazia. How can I help you? Hi, uh, I'm a customer. I'm in your bathroom right now. Mm -hmm. And um, you know those uh, pellet things that you put in uh, guinea pig cages? Yeah? I, I brought a couple bags of those in here. I've been flushing them down the toilet. I, I'm filming for a YouTube video, so it's. Uh, I'm just trying to see if they'll go down. But, like, um, the toilet's overflowing now. What do I do? One moment. Why? Where are you going? You walk into the bathroom? Uh, no, one moment. Where, where are you going? What are you doing? Well, please, take this, please. They are flushing things down the toilet and filling things for you. Hello, this is Will. How help you? Hey, uh, I'm a customer. I'm in the bathroom. I was letting her know that, um, you know those uh, pellet things that you put in guinea pig cages? Uh huh. I, I brought a couple bags of those in here. I've been flushing them down the toilet. And now the toilet's overflowing onto the floor. So there's water and, and guinea pig pellets all over the floor. So I, I was just And that's on our floor? Yeah, yeah, I'm in the bathroom here in the store. But like here, look, when I flush, I'm gonna flush. Yeah, it it doesn't go down, it just it goes all over the floor. Like it just do you know how to make it not do that? Um, well first of all we should be flushing that kind of stuff down the toilet. Yeah, well, I'm going to pay for it. I'm not just stealing it. It's it's for a YouTube video. It's called Will It Flush? I do this all the um, time. Yeah, but we don't do that kind of stuff in our store. Well, um, are you in our men's room right now? Yeah, but don't come in. I'm filming. 
So you got the key to the men's room? Yeah, I asked for it. Who'd you ask? I don't know. Like, it, what does it matter? I, I just like I'm. I, I want to know if you know how to make it not do that because I don't want it to go all over the floor. Well, I'm just curious who you asked to get the key. Hold on, I'm gonna try and flush again. <laughs> no, it's still going up over the edge. It's going on the floor. There's pellets everywhere. Don't come in. Don't come in. Sir? Well, I'm going to have to. Yes. No, no, I'm busy. I'm like, just give me 10 minutes, okay? I'm just, I'm trying to get these to go down. I've, I've got one more bag to pour in. Sir, don't stop knocking, please. I just got to do one more bag. All right. Can you yell through the door so I know you're in the bathroom? No, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm filming quietly because if I yell. Right, I'm opening the door. No, don't open the door. I don't have pants on. Um, no, you're not in our bathroom. Yeah, I was just kidding with you. It's just a joke. Yeah, I know you are because uh, you didn't come get the key and you couldn't tell me who you got the key from. Well, I could have told you who I got the key from. I just didn't want to. Well, you couldn't because you don't know who's here. So next time when you want to waste somebody's time, please waste somebody else's. Have a good day. <laughs> okay. That was great. That was pretty much the same speech that that other girl gave me earlier today about not being in the bathroom and wasting her time. Except she seems smarter about it. He was just super annoyed with me. Okay, so I'm done with this for a while, okay? I'm, I'm finished with flushing things down the toilet. I had fun. Thank you, anonymous person, for suggesting that and tricking me with your fake submission. I'm not going to fall for that again. People do that occasionally, and I don't fall for it. Yours just slipped through. But I had fun with it. I also had fun calling up Natalie's. I'm going to finish up that list, max power, of Natalie's when it's earlier in the day and insurance places are open. I will find my one true Natalie. Hey, Brad. This is Alex from New Jersey. Hey, Alex. Um, try and keep this quick. Uh, I'm the guy that stole the old telecom truck, and there's a video of me screaming, go away, go away PLA, I and then honking that. the horn and speeding away before I got arrested. Mm -hmm. um, I was also the one that was talking on the radio to the police after I saw your Taco Bell takeover video when I was younger. What? And I also made you a cake that said, Dummy. Uh, can you please tell your kids to shut the fuck up? And there's a nice picture of you on there. I don't know if you ever saw any of those things, but I've done them all. And, uh, yeah, I had a question. I believe you. What the hell happened to the old AOL um, phone game that was uh, posted? It, uh, it was with Dwight and a bunch of people. I'm pretty sure you were on it, and it was, it was hysterical. It was Carlito, it was Dwight and all. What the hell happened to that? I can't find it anywhere. The AOL so hopefully that was under 30 seconds. Game. Sorry if it's over, but I'd love to know. You're at a minute and four seconds. God damn it, but it's fine. What happened to that call? It was Dwight was talking about giving chase on a rascal scooter to some girl I, it was hysterical and it used to be on youtube i can't find it anymore all right oh. thanks cactus cactus i'm gonna message dwight right now he probably won't respond right away but maybe before i finish recording he will there i just asked him he is online skype claims so maybe he'll respond to me but if not if any of you out there know what alex is talking about because i sure don't have any memory of that but i forget everything that all could have happened last week. I probably still wouldn't remember. Hey, Roy. Uh, it's deep in the heart of Texas. Hey. Hey, um, by the way, your phone, uh, I have this thing called True Caller, and uh, it shows up your ID as Brad Z. Carter. Just a neat little thing. Whoa. Anyways, I just wanted to say, Wait, I what? previously made this point in uh, or this question. Wait, shows up what phone number? I'm so confused. And you didn't answer it correctly. I was asking for music of the show, but I meant music from fan people sending it you in, uh, sending it in to you. So, like, for instance, the trap song, or uh, the trap version or uh, what have you, I'm looking mm -hmm. to see where that is so I can download it and listen to it at the gym or what have you. I see. Anyways, okay. under, an, under a minute, faggot. Yep, that was 48 seconds. Good job. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I use Dropbox, so I'm going to copy links to the intro directory of the Snowplow Show, and I'm going to paste it into the show notes on snowplowshow.com. The problem is that if too many people download everything from that, then Dropbox usually cuts off access because they get suspicious of me. So if you listen to this quickly enough and you go to the show notes, you're going to see a link to my Dropbox of intro songs, 
and maybe you won't be too late to get that. I'm also going to post a link to the Dropbox of the music directory on the PLA Media Pack, because there's a bunch of new stuff in there since the last time I released one, which I think might have been 2017. So this should contain most of the songs if you want to download them all. And if you're too late, if Dropbox has cut off access, then send me an email and ask for it, and I'll send it to you that way. And if anyone ever wants one of the songs that you hear on this show, you can send me an email, show at snowplowshow.com, and I might take a while to answer, but I'll answer eventually, and I'll attach the song for you or send you a link to it. Hello, Brad. It's Micro Corgi with some bad news. Oh, crap. That song I was working on for a while uh, kind of ended up disappearing. Oh, no. I've been working on my own personal projects for my YouTube, and in the process... See, that's why you need Dropbox, like me. So when things mysteriously disappear... Or maybe you get raided by the FBI. You still have all your files. Instead of working on those one night, I accidentally overwrote the song. Ah, you so I idiot. I don't have that. I still have some of the voice clips. Dropbox up. would have the previous version. This song. show is brought to you by Dropbox.com. Eleven ninety nine a month for two terabytes of storage. The original call, I don't even remember what show it was from. But I may try and work on it later, but unfortunately there is no new song coming for the time being. Ah, balls. But... Uh, balls, balls, balls. Hey, and there's always a feature, right? Hope that's, you have a good night. That's true. Let's go blues! Yeah, let's go blues. Sorry to hear it, Micro Corgi. I've lost a lot of files in the past to stupid accidents, and I didn't have Dropbox when I got raided, so... I know we probably won't get uh, Dingtember this year, but I was wondering uh, if we might get any dog park calls, because it's kind of, you know, it's kind of that time of year, you know? Yeah, and those dog, dog park. park calls were a lot of fun. Also, according to Uber, they're going to start delivering fast food by drone in San Diego this summer. So I was thinking it might be funny if you like start like accusing people of holding on and stealing your kids' um, Happy Meal toys or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that right. could be fun. Kind of like the Amazon drone calls. I read that about Uber doing fast food deliveries. Amazon's going to be so annoyed that somebody else beat them to it since they've been promising they're going to do that for years now. Hey, Brad. I just signed up to give you some money the other day on Dick Project 2, wow, and thanks. I had an idea. Who the fuck are you? You should call into the Dick Show again, and you should tell him about Skunk Works, because that seems like, you know, the sort of thing that he would probably like. Oh. Okay, yeah, bye. Maybe. I don't know. Would the Dick Show like that? I sent that story to Tim over distortedview.com back when it was all first happening, and Tim never talked about it on his show. I sent Nick Rakita a message about it, and he never talked about it on his YouTube channel. Nobody seems to give a shit about Skunk Works. But yeah, maybe I'll give that a try, because Skunk Works is always fun to talk about. By the way, there's another podcast about him. I forget what the show was called. It was an iHeartRadio podcast, and it wasn't as good as the show that I linked to a couple weeks ago, which I also forget the name of. But I've listened to more episodes of that other one, at least. But yeah, look around for that. There's another one talking about Skunk Roy, Works. Roy, I'm from the state of Florida. Hey. How you doing? Great. I just wanted to ask you, did you two, when you get, you know, when you come in live, did you two take money away from you? Of course. Let's say we give. Do they take half on you? I would like to know the answer. Oh, I don't know. You know, when we play, like, let's say $5, $2, do they give you all the $2 or all the $5? No, definitely not. Mark. Okay, Roy, that retarded boy. Hey, not cool. It's 2019. You can't be using the retarded word. Yeah, I don't know what YouTube's take is if people send me money. I know it's not 100%. I know it's more than 50%. I think it is. Well, yeah, it has to be. They wouldn't take more than that. And then the payment processor takes their cut. Just like with everything, just like with Patreon and PayPal and everything else. But I don't know what the exact amount is, and I'm too lazy to look it up. Hey, Brad, it's Long Pussy Hairs here. I just wanted to say good morning. Hello. <clears throat> okay, thanks. Hey, I was just wondering, have you ever, uh, when you were making a prank call, felt like you've done something seriously wrong and, like, regretted it? Like, have you ever you mean like getting raided by the FBI? Like you crossed the line. And I'm not I regretted that a little bit. Talking about the time that, you know, you got in trouble with the law or whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I was just wondering if you had felt like you messed up 
and you've done something wrong at any point. Well, I was a little all, concerned bye. about Mrs. Cotton. You know, Mrs. Cotton. Oh, crazy people. I was pretty sure I killed her, but I called her a couple days later and confirmed that she was okay. And she seemed fine. And I've made a girl or two cry before. You know, women, they get all emotional. Or like on today's show, I made that girl's brain reset. I mean, really, she just completely ceased to function for a good 35 seconds or so. Let's listen to that again, because it's not every day I cause a human to hard reset. What? What? Um, are you... Are you... You're not... What, um... I, I... This is... I... What, I don't understand. I, I, can I put you on hold? At least we could hear her talking later in that call in the background. And she seemed like she's doing okay. She had time to reboot. Yo, Brad, this is Master Kitty OG, you know, saying that they do funny shit, but uh, he got me in trouble. My teacher flipped when I was listening, and, um, and yeah. Use headphones, idiot. So, later, man. R-E-S-P-K-T. Respect goes out to the cactus peak. All right. Sorry about that. Brad, Brad, Brad. It's, it's a, uh, Red Eagle slash Cobra. Um, hey. Just to let you know, I was listening to the show with the, um, you were doing the phone call stuff from Century Link and saying, like the advertisement, I'm gonna play an advertisement in the middle of the call yep. to make it more realistic. You should have like played an advertisement, like in like from Century League or just something <laughs> in the middle of the call that you were on with them, just to make it more realistic. Yeah, and then try to yell over it. That's a great idea. I really want to revisit that idea sometime and do those again. <laughs> you should do if you do that again. That idea, you just got it. You got to do that. That would be funny. All right, that's just an idea, I thought. I could play some advertisements by CenturyLink. Like, try our new call waiting service. I could just get put on hold by CenturyLink and record their advertisements that they play while you're on hold. That's a great idea. I'm going to try to remember to do that the next time I do those types of calls. All right. Break Monkey Boy here. Hey. Yeah, listen, I've just spent probably an hour and ten minutes of my life listening to the uh, mad motel owner that... Motel Rain Saga. I assume you've at least heard of it. I don't know if you've listened to it, but it's a collection of prank calls for those who don't know about it from 05 to 14 to the same guy, some guy named Howard at Motel Rain. <clears throat> I don't know if I've heard this or not. Excuse me. Anyway, how the hell did he was he able to pull that off? Because he broke your golden rule probably. Three or four hundred times. Yeah, everybody but, uh, does. And I'm sure Howard got the cops involved at some point. But uh, anyway, just wanted to see if you heard of it and uh, get your thoughts. Ruprecht out, Ruprecht away! All right, so I'm looking on YouTube. I see a three hour version and I see a one hour version. I don't think I've ever heard of this though. I'm going to play just, I don't know, a few seconds or a minute or something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the middle of it and see what we have. Telling that everybody that calls you. <laughs> oh my god. He blew a whistle. What a perfect place for me to jump to. Wow. He thinks that that's gonna stop you and shit. <laughs> Do an Alright, let's hear the next one. I'm at 18 minutes right now. Motel Rain. Hello. Hi, is Hello? Motel Rain? Hi, yes. um I I stayed there about maybe a week or two ago, and I just had a few questions if you have time. Yep. Um, I'm sorry, this is like really embarrassing, but I got like a rash, and I was just wondering um, what detergent you use, or if there's like, I don't know, if, if you like wash your sheets after every customer, or what's going on. Well, this is boring. I think he hung up. <laughs> Hello? Hello? What a dick, dude. He hung up. All right, let me go hey, listen, a little bit let further. Me, let me ask you a question. Do you suck dick? <laughs> oh, I thought we were going to get a whistle. Yeah, I'll have to listen to that sometime. I, I can see me just sitting there and listening to that for an hour and ten minutes. And I just noticed this is on 
Rev's prank call channel. I don't know if he's responsible for this. Rev's a listener of the Snowplow Show. And I'm not going to read this gigantic paragraph of his, but I see Lonesome Losers mentioned in there. And Zolar. I'm going to put a link to this in the show notes. And after you listen to the entire hour of this, click on Rev's channel. He's got a ton of prank calls in here. He's pretty funny. He's been around forever. Hey, Brad. It's your uh, pal, Tyler. Hey, got Tyler. Got a uh, <laughs> quick suggestion for you. Anytime you do those things where you call people and tell them that you're going to be doing ad insertions into their phone calls, mm-hmm. call it the uh, Verizon uh, Advertisement Advertiser Engagement uh, Program or Initiative. I think that uh, has a good ring to it, right? Yeah, so, hey, yeah, you know, sounds we're, very we're, corporate. Just, we're working out this new program. It's our Advertiser Engagement Initiative, and, you know, we think it's really going to add a lot of value to uh, our merchandisers and select sponsors. I think uh, I think that would have a, have a good play. All you, right, you should you. be a telemarketer. <laughs> Brad, Brad. Brad, Brad, I, Brad, that, your, your voicemail message is going to scare a lot of people away. See when you say uh, you're going to go on the air in five seconds or something. That's, that's going to scare people. No. <laughs> that, would, that would really, really scare people. Nobody's going to believe that. Come on. I was going to phone up. I, do you remember there was a... Uh, there was they a, technically are going on the air because I'm going to play their voicemail on the thing. On the podcast, which is almost like the air. Prank calls about a guy, remember Fred? Fred and the, the Bill Bondsman prank calls. The actual man that the Fred the Bill Bonds was based on, he, he's passed on now. Oh, no. I think he passed on last year. I think he lived to 73 or 74, so that was a kind of sad one, but he's been remembered because a lot of people are using the, the Bill Bonds prank calls. Okay, keep well, everyone on the voicemails and ev- all the, the listeners and y- yourself as well, Brad. Bye-bye. Okay, thanks. Yeah, so I searched him on YouTube also. I don't know if I have the right person here. He looks old enough to be dead now, but I'm not going to play. I've never even heard of whatever you're talking about. Or wait, why not? Here, let me just Hello. play a clip. I know you're a better what? gentleman than this, sir. What? I know you're a better gentleman than this, sir. What? Is this a soundboard? You fucking asshole. Yes. All right, I, I don't even know what I'm looking for. I'm not going to play this, but apparently something about Fred the Bale's bondsman thing. He is dead. Brad, Brad. What? Brad, Brad. What is this? Oi, Brad. You, for, you forgot to do my uh, cheese idea. There's a, there's a cheese uh, out called Kazu Mazu cheese, and it's meant, I think people say it's meant to taste unusual, but if you, if you Google that, Brad, Kazu Mazu cheese, see if it's a cheese you would like. Cause it's, it's Kazu Mazu cheese. Really, 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 really good. I think he just cursed at me in Indian or something. So that's all the voicemails. I guess the show is over now. There's something I've been wanting to play on this show, and I always forget. It's in my show notes, you know, my personal show notes. It's a prank by another prank call show, the show that King Richard does, which is titled Another Prank Call Show. People are always confused about that. Way to choose a prank call show name, you fucking idiot. And hopefully I didn't mention this already. I may have. You know me and my memory. But he did the show on April 1st, 2019. Episode 11. It's called Make America Grande Again. And he was getting people in coffee shops to yell out campaign slogans. I can't remember if it was employees or customers or both. But there's this one call that I want to play. I think it's about two minutes long. And it's completely insane what he gets a coffee shop employee to do. And I don't know if this is necessarily funny exactly, but it's insane what these people are doing. Just listen to this. Give me hey. one moment. I'm going to give you to our manager. Okay, hurry up. Hello? Hi, is this the manager? Uh, I'm the shift on duty right now. Oh, okay. All right, so this is a Starbucks. I'm going to clip off the whole first part since King Richard didn't. Okay, yeah, you can help me out. This is Ron. Come with the corporate office. Hi. And there was a little bit of a defect in the last batch of cups that some of the stores in this area have received. Okay. So can you grab one of the cups? We just need to test this out real quick to make sure that you guys are okay. Okay. So it turns out that the defective cups actually start dissolving upon contact with human saliva. 
Okay. So I just need you to to spit into the cup and wait like 10 seconds and see if it starts like bubbling and dissolving. This girl is spitting into a cup. I'm not noticing anything. You spit into the cup? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So we've noticed that like only certain people have the enzyme that causes the cup to dissolve. So we need to kind of get like a like a cross section. Can you have one of your coworkers there spit into the cup and, and see if that does anything? Yeah. And let me know if it if it reacts. Give me one second. Okay. Just one second. Spit into the cup. One. She just walks up and just says, spit into the cup to her coworker. No explanation. Uh, still not noticing anything. Okay, we might be in good shape here. Do you have any customers in the store right now? Uh, yes. Can you have one of the customers spit into the cup? So this is where it gets pretty much equally as insane as whoever got the convenience store employee to pee into a cup. I forget who did that. Was that Dwight? Um... Because we, we need to make sure that we're getting kind of a good cross-section, you know, of different people. Because only some people have the, the exact enzyme in their saliva that breaks down the cup. Um, yeah, let me see if there's somebody. So yeah. this employee is going to walk around Starbucks with a cup full of spit and say, Excuse me, customer, could you spit into this cup full of spit for me? Like you can offer them, you know, like a free pastry or, you know, $5 gift card for their trouble. Yeah. One second. One second, I'll come right back. Okay, we'll take the phone with you. Yeah. Why, employee? Why would you do this? Okay, so I just had two more people do it. Um, really? Two more customers, or? Uh, yeah, two two more customers. They're regular. Two and, customers. Yeah, two uh, customers and nothing. Hmm. Okay, it looks like maybe you're all right, but let me ask you this: the people that have spit into it so far, are, are they all Caucasian? Uh, one with Hispanic. Hispanic, okay. Do you have any other, like, do you have any black people or maybe, like, Asian? Now King Richard is trying to get her to target races. Asian persuasion? Um, honestly, right now I don't. No, okay. Uh, hmm, there there darn. was an Indian family in here earlier, but they're gone. They're gone? Okay, good. Yeah, those people stink. All right, so let's see. Can you kind of swirl it around a little bit and... And see if it does anything. I want to make sure that you don't have a... Def- this employee is holding a cup of spit. Like four or five different people spit in a cup. Detective cup, you know? Yeah. Um, nope. It's too bad the Indians aren't there because their saliva is really as- acidic. That's, that's racist. Something to do with the curry. King Richard. Let's go ahead. Ma- oh, man. <laughs> I guess that's where she hung up. I think there's a second call in that episode where he does the same thing. And he also gets people to yell out offensive campaign slogans to everyone in the Starbucks. It was a good listen. Everyone should go listen to that. Anotherprankcallshow.com. I'll put a link to that episode in the show notes. His show usually has some pretty crazy stuff in it. It's usually fun to listen to. And you know what? That guy that asked me earlier if I feel like my prank calls have ever crossed a line. If I'd been the one to do that, I probably would have said, yeah, that time I got people to spit into a cup. That was kind of an asshole move. But luckily, that wasn't me. That was King Richard. So I can just sit here and talk about what a horrible person he is. Thank you, Cody No Name, Anagol009, David J, Jesse Lobster, and Starkey for being sponsors of this episode and supporting the Snowplow Show and the Phone Losers of America. If you're not supporting the show, you should be. You can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phonelosers.com slash cactus or the newer thing newproject2.com slash phone losers. Each of those things gives you pretty much the same thing, which is an extra show every single week that the poor people aren't allowed to hear. Also, be sure to check out the other podcasts that I'm responsible for, like Mr. Dobelina's Wonderful World of Prank Calls. You can find that at worldofprankcalls.com and Brad's Cactus Shack at notla.com. And I also do the Hang Up the Phone show. I did one just a couple days ago. It was awful. I was in a really horrible mood that night after having computer issues. I'm not ever going to put that one up. So if you miss that one live, you're just not going to hear it. It's gone forever. Or actually, it's on the show reel at Mixler.com slash is this thing on. But you're not missing much. 
I probably won't be doing a live show this weekend. I'm just mentioning that because I've done one the last two weekends, and I think it's very unlikely that I will do one this weekend. I'm going to try and do a hobo so tomorrow, though. I haven't done one of those this week yet. Thanks for listening, everyone. Here's some Rappy McRapperson, because who doesn't like Rappy McRapperson? Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen is on the motherfucking scene. Charlie Sheen. So you're in our bathroom flushing down fish that you just purchased?